Dear students, welcome to my channel, Dr. V. R. Pudli, Professor of Management and Economics. In this video, I am dealing with primary and secondary data, advantages and disadvantages of primary data and secondary data. Primary and secondary data advantages and disadvantages there are two types of data used in research they are one primary data and two secondary data let us now deal with primary data the primary data are those which are collected afresh and for the first time and thus happen to be original in character. The data so collected are pure and original and collected for a specific purpose. They have never undergone any statistical treatment before the census is an example of primary data there are several methods of collecting primary data particularly in surveys and descriptive researches important ones are one observation method two interview method Three questionnaire method, four schedule method, and five other methods which include A warranty cards, B distributor audits, C pantry audits, D consumer panels. E. Using mechanical devices. F. Through projective techniques. G. Depth interviews. And H. Content analysis. Two. Secondary data. The secondary data are those which have already been collected by someone else and which have already been passed through the statistical process. Secondary data may either be published data or unpublished data. Usually, published data are available in 1. Various publications of the central, state and local governments. 2. Various publications of foreign governments are of international bodies and their subsidiary organizations. 3. Technical and trade journals. 4. Books, magazines and newspapers. 5. Reports and publications of various associations connected with business and industry, banks, stock exchanges, and so on. 6. Reports prepared by research scholars, universities, research organizations, and so on in different fields. And 7. Public records and statistics, historical documents, and other sources of published information. The sources of unpublished data are many. They may be found in diaries, letters, unpublished biographies and autobiographies and also may be available with scholars and research workers, trade associations, labor bureaus and other public or private individuals and organizations.
let us now deal with advantages of primary data the first advantage of primary data is it is specific a major benefit of collecting primary data is that it is specific to particular study two increased accuracy when we collect the data ourselves it is easier to make sure that all the information is accurate three it is up to date information primary data is the most up to date let us now deal with disadvantages of primary data one time consuming even though it can deliver the best results collecting and using primary data can take a lot of time two it can be costly collecting primary data is not a cheap endeavor there are many resources that go into obtaining the primary data let us now deal with advantages of secondary data one inexpensive secondary data is extremely inexpensive to use two takes very little time to collect the data secondary data collection takes almost no time disadvantages of secondary data one lack of control over the collection process when we are using secondary data we do not have influence over how the previous study received the information two out of date data secondary data has a higher likelihood of being out of date three pre existing bias most of the time secondary data is available in a way that best suits previous study this can lead to a pre existing bias with the data dear students in this video i had dealt with primary and secondary data advantages and disadvantages of primary and secondary data thank you